Dirtle Magic. Thank you for tuning in to Dirtle Magic. Please subscribe and hit that notification bell if you like the content you see here today, and leave a like and share the video with someone you might think is interested. Leaving those likes really helps us out, but another way to help us out is by using our TCG Player affiliate link below. If you're looking for singles, sealed product, or gaming accessories, please consider using our link to support the channel. We also have some playmats at inkgaming.com. Go ahead and hit the link in the description to check those out. Alright, let's grab some spells and dirtle with some magic. Hello and welcome back to Dirtle Magic. Today I wanted to cover the nostalgia I feel for the Time Swallow Remastered block, but, you know, with the perspective of somebody who was there playing Magic then, and who's looking back on it fondly now. Specifically, I'm going to talk about the time shifted frames, or the old style of frames if you prefer, and why they resonate with me even though I didn't start playing Magic until after the modern frame was already in the game. With Time Swallow Remastered, it brings me back to almost the very beginning of when I started playing Magic, which was during Champions of Kamigawa, and just before the release of Betrayers of Kamigawa. In my magic infancy, I didn't understand the lore yet, the rules as much, and of course my exposure to any cards before Kamigawa, and to a lesser extent, Meriden block, was very limited. Even back then, I reveled in this new game I discovered through one of my friends, and when Ravnica was released, I immediately found a home amongst the Boros Legion. The world, which is largely still my favorite today, was rich with lore and backstory, and apparently itself was also a backstory, which I'd later come to find out. I even once owned each book of this set, one for each of the sets in the block, and I'm not ashamed to admit that when Razia was killed, I was upset and when Angris Kost died, I actually cried a little bit. Cold Snap was a blip on the radar to me, I didn't pay much attention, and then came Time Spiral. I didn't pay much attention to that one either, it seemed strange and just weird to me, but then Player of Chaos came around and it drew my full attention to the game as a whole, especially for the lore specifically. Not only was it messing with things that I thought were incredibly fun, and by proxy, Time Spiral was also doing it, I realized the depth of the lore at that time, and what the game had to offer me, and I have a great deal of interest in lore and stories. Probably a slightly problematic one, but a strong one. It is in digging through this lore that I found the older magic cards, which is where the old frames come in. I was also intrigued by these seemingly random effects, color pie breaks, or at least they would be considered today, or, well, well, not, not all of them, but on the screen you'll see that. And I gorged myself on the information I could get my hands on about all these old cards and the lore behind the characters and maybe why these spells were the way they were. To this day, my knowledge on this is nowhere complete. Old cards spring up in games that I play that I've never seen before, and the awkward word templating is something I find both frustrating and enjoyable to decipher. Although, in a game, it doesn't always come across as clearly. With Time Spiral Remastered, we won't have trouble reading the cards over and over again to understand what it does, or the surprise of many color pie breaks, or even bends, although there are a few of those. At least, what would have been bends back then. What we will have is an appreciation for the game, for the nostalgia of the game, from the old days, and as a lot of people have already said, it's kind of like a love letter to magic because that set already was a mishmash of so many things. And, you know, what it means to the players who were around back then, and maybe give an appreciation to newer players to see what magic was like back then as well, and maybe remember the good times and how it helped us along the way occasionally. However, for me in particular, no card in this set reminds me or fills me with more joy than Felden of the Third Path in the old frame. First printed in Commander 2014, this character both has a decent amount of lore around it and behind it, and is in my favorite color, which is red, and did something at the time that was very limited to red, which is a kind of reanimation, and frankly, it's still the only effect in red that does it this way. Seeing Felden in the old frame brought back a lot of good memories about my Felden Commander deck, and digging through all of that lore that I used to search for on the old cards. It also reminded me of the importance of the lore and the stories behind the characters. If you didn't know who Felden was and didn't go to research it, you wouldn't understand why he has the ability he does. The flavor text does give you a clue, but the card ties itself so well together that the design, the design of the card is so unique to that character that it just, it's like the embodiment of what magic means to me story-wise. To me, the lore is part of my magic story and has been both an entertaining part of my life and occasionally a place to escape as a saving grace from my life. 
with Tom Spa Remastered, I get to look back with older eyes and more understanding, especially for all these wonky rules that, you know, used to be gibberish to me and relish in the experience that I've had since then and through then, playing Magic as a game, learning the lore, and meeting new players and people, and just hashing it out with different strategies, which is one of the reasons I love Commander. With this love letter of a set and new things on the horizon for Magic, whatever the game has in store for us, we'll always have these kinds of memories to fall back on. We'll always have this potent love for the game, or at least I will, to keep me going through it. Because there are things that I don't like that are coming up in Magic. There are things that have happened that I don't like in Magic. But overall, Magic is still my game, and it's still our game. And we should be able to enjoy it to its fullest whenever we can. With this set, maybe we can make some new memories to enjoy, and maybe we can share, or at least replicate, some of the old ones with old friends of ours, old uh, competitors, and maybe even make some new friends along the way. Anyway, that's just me talking about my feelings on Time Spiral Remastered. Thanks for tuning in to Daryl Magic, and I hope you will enjoy the set as much as I love reminiscing about it.